Now, say I want to conduct, I want to search on something. I have the word beginning here. And uh, I want to find out where else does the word beginning, where, where is it located? Well, you know one way you can search for that is to use the use tab. But you don't necessarily have to use the use tab. I can do, do a couple different things to search for that. I can, first of all, I can double click on the word. Now, notice here in the search window, it has beginning. Notice the command line. It automatically populates with the search term that I searched. So double clicking is one way, as in fact, a very, very easy way to search. And then when I have my search results, I can just click on the different search results, and it displays these for me. So go back to Genesis 1.1, and now I want to search on, on created. Um, I can double click. I can right click also. And here it says search on word. So I can search on the word for that, and others created. Now say I want to search on a phrase. Well, I'm just going to heavens and the earth. And I'm going to right click and search for phrase. And now there's the phrase, heavens and the earth. Okay? And it's already populated there on the command line as well. So it's very easy to search on, on words and phrases. It's even more powerful when we come to Greek and Hebrew. Because I'm going down here to, to the Greek text, I'm going to right click, and I can search on form or lemma. Now, I have to define terms here a little bit. Form is exactly how it appears here in your, say, your printed text. Okay? That's called an inflected form. How, how many of you study Greek? Okay? And how many in Hebrew? Okay. All right. All right. Um, the uh, lemma is what you would find the entry word in a lexicon. Okay, so they're, they're two different things. Okay, but I can search for one or the other. Now I'm going to I'm searching here on uh, FYH, so I want to form poieto to do, or in this case to create. I'm going to search on form. Now at the bottom here, I have in the status bar 781 verses, one form, because we searched on a form, so it's only going to be one, and 848 hits. Now I'm going to come back up here, I'm going to right click on the word and search on a lemma. Now I have 3,456 verses, 134 forms. So boy, I have a lot of forms in the Septuagint New Testament and 3,960 hits, and it took about a second. So that was pretty fast. A little faster than you can do in a strong concordance, right? A little, <laughs> just a little bit. So, so that's how the, uh, the context menu of form and lemma can be very useful depending on what type of information you're looking for. And that's how you can search that. In the same way in Hebrew as well. Now this is a, there's some different things in Hebrew because of the way words are constructed in Hebrew. You have prefixes and suffixes in Hebrew. So here I'm going to go here to the first word, barishit, in the beginning, and I'm going to right click, and here I'm going to search on, well searching on form, it's the same as if I double click, I just double click on the word, and now I have my search results. If I right click and I search on lemma, it's a little different, because here you have a prefix, a big prefix, I can search on that or I can search on reishit. So I search on reishit. And now here I have all forms of Reishi. So there's 51 hits, 49 verses. Okay? And notice that if you look down here on the search window, notice in Deuteronomy 18.4, there's a star 2. If I select that, notice that Reishi appears twice. That's what the star 2 means. So that way you can see where, what verses have it multiple times. It's an easy way to, to look for that. Um, I'll go back here to Genesis 1 1. And now, say, does anyone here can uh, type very, very quickly in Bible works on the command line to type Hebrew? Probably not. You expect any hands. It's not, you have to kind of work. It, it's pretty intuitive because the, the alphabet is based very much on the English keyboard. So you can kind of, there's a good core correspondence, but there is an easier way. So I'm going to hear to uh, like Elohim and right click. And here it says, append to command line. And there it is. So you don't have to know how to spell it. You're not going to have any type of typographical error spelling it. 
It's right there for you. So notice I just add, I right click and say append to command line. You're on the, on the menu and now I have Barah. And you can go to different verses. I'm gonna go down to Genesis 1, 2 and I'm gonna select the word, right click and append to command line. Now it's typed there for me. So you can be drawing from different verses, append there and now I hit enter and I search for it. Well, of course there's no verses because I went to different ones there. It didn't appear the same, but but then it'll, you can search for those multiple hits. So that, that can be really useful. Um, it's nice to know how to type there in Hebrew and in Greek, but that is one way to do it, though. So the more you can let the program do, the less typograph type <coughs> errors you're going to have. Uh, yes, Dr. Tucker. And, and that search that you just did, even though there were no results, the, the word order, will the cursor automatically function in Hebrew? Since you appended it to the command line in yes. Hebrew, or well, do you I have put to, it in the back side of it. Or do you have to move the cursor to put it to make sure that the word goes where you want it to go? To go? Well, you might have to, depending on if, depending on how you want to change it, you may have to move it. Okay. It's just automatically going to append it to the end of it, unless you change your cursor mm -hmm. there. Um, it's a pretty good question. Let's let's go back here. Let's let's try that. And if, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here, but let's let's see. Um, Line. Yes, yeah. it goes right where the cursor is. Yes. Okay. Right where the cursor is. Yeah. So, I, I've just got to say that watching what you did the first time, it was actually because Hebrew reads right to left. You were actually sticking those words in front of. Right. Okay. Does, does it still computer in the background here? This is all strict text. Right. Uh, it's not Hebrew. It's all the, the program is kind of magical in that sense. It knows that it's a Hebrew search version. It has to be Hebrew characters. Hebrew word orders and it switches everything around um, in the background. You don't have to work with any of that. Um, and then one thing that's different here with BibleWorks compared to some other programs you may use when you're getting when you're typing in Greek and Hebrew, you do not switch keyboards. Some programs you have to switch keyboards. Say, oh, I want to type in Greek. I got to switch to a Greek keyboard. Not in BibleWorks. In fact, if you do that, it's not going to work. <laughs> okay. So you're always you, you keep it on English keyboard. The program automatically switches it for you. Which, frankly, here it makes it much, much faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. 